Hey everyone, Jay here again for my second unboxing video. Today I'm going to cover one of the other new awesome new Tyranid models. Um, the new plastic kit for the Hive Tyrant slash Swarmlord. Uh, once again, sorry for the reflection there. Uh, this is one of the more interesting kits, seeing as in the last year there's been a metal, a resin, and a plastic version, all of the same guy. But I'm very happy that they finally released a plastic version. I'm a huge fan of the plastic kits, as you're probably well aware. They're by far my favorite kits. And I'm really happy that they finally released the wings for the, uh, the Flying Hive Tyrant, or as we call it, the Flyrant, as well as finally they released the kit for the Swarm Lord. Um, it's only been two years, GW. Um, thank you very much for uh, releasing this kit. So once again, as with the uh, the Turvagon kit, the box is, is pretty huge. So there's probably a lot of stuff inside. And on the back, as you can see here, um, on the top, there's just a picture of the, of the Hive Tyrant without wings. And um, there's the Swarm Lord and two variants of the um, of the Hive Tyrant with wings, or as we call the Flyrant. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so I'll just open up the box here and uh, check out what's inside. Bye. And I'm back with the open box. Um, as I can see in this box, there are two sprues, um, a monstrous base, and the instruction booklet. So let's go through it sprue by sprue. Oh, very, very cool. So we'll start off with this sprue, which has um, the new Hive Tyrant flying wings. Uh, they're pretty sweet, as you can see, the nice detail. As I said, I'm always a fan of the plastic kits. They tend to have really nice detail and be sturdy. Very nice. Oh, and there's one of the uh, the leg variants. So if you want to use the, the Flying Hive Tyrant, this is the, the leg. Very nice. Or to here. So here is the the um, the head. In case you want to use the uh, Swarm Lord, I'll just try to get that zoomed in. Oh, very very cool. Yeah. So here's just the, the Swarm Lord head, and the mouth is actually right here. So it's a two-piece head. I've never seen one of those before, but it's very very cool. And here's just a piece of the tail piece of the barbed strangler uh, pretty straightforward very very nice stuff very cool Put that aside and here is the other sprue Oops, sorry the camera so here is the other sprue um, I'll just zoom in on different parts. So here are the siding talons, the other part of the tail. Here are the leg variants in case you do, do not want to use the, the flying hive tyrant. Here are two of the bone savers for the um, swarm lord, which look pretty sweet. I've been waiting for a plastic uh, lash whip for quite a long time. So if I don't use this on this hive tyrant, I'm definitely going to use it on one of my other hive tyrant models because I'm tired of the metals as well as the tail for the Hive Tyrant or Swarm Lord. Uh, there are two more of the Bone Sabers. Best up to the camera. Uh, there are the vents. Here's another uh, one of the... Uh, here's another one of the heads. Actually, sorry, that one might be the, the Hive Tyrant, I believe. If you want to use the Hive Tyrant Skull, that's the one. Let's see. That's about it. Here's the torso. And the bone sword, in case you want to use the lash whip and bone sword combination for the hive tyrant. And not the um, and not the swarm lord. Very cool stuff. I really like the plastic. I'm definitely going to take some of these pieces and probably put them on my Metal Hive Tyrant. Very cool. And of course, you got your Monstrous Creature base, just the normal standard size. Luckily, I'm glad they didn't increase the base size like they did on the Turvagon. 
cool stuff. And the instruction booklet. Um, pretty straightforward. Mm, very, very cool stuff. Shows how to build the model and all the variants. Put the skull on. Great stuff. Well, that's uh, about it for my second unboxing, the uh, new Tyranid Hive Tyrant slash Swarmlord kit. And uh, now I just gotta make another decision of which one will I build. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video, and I will talk to you soon. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.